All right, so this is our our video for the version 12 software on the Cybertruck. As you can see, it looks very, very nice. You can zoom in really close there. You can see the detail inside. When the door's open. And let's kind of go through the software here. So right now we're on full screen, swipe over and you're gonna get the, uh, it's kind of split screen where the map's on the right hand side. Um, so there's a lot to go over here and let's let's go over this, the main controls of the vehicle. So if we click on the car, the Cybertruck down below here, um, you have controls. Inside controls, you have like unfold, fold mirrors. So you can adjust your mirrors and steering like every other Tesla, car wash, neutrals here as well. Neutrals also over here as well. Um, you have the open and close of the tunnel cover, your ride height, sentry mode recording, child lock, window lock. Your brightness is right there. Your glove box, which is kind of neat how it swings open. Oh, I gotta actually put a pin in. You guys want my pin now? There it is. Swings open and closes. And then you yeah, have like your headlights and stuff like that. So that's under controls. Dynamics, uh, you have comfort, sport, custom, and off road, um, acceleration, chill, standard, ride handling, relaxed, focused, and then your preferred ride height, lower or higher. Down below here, like slippery surface, um, you can engage the rear locking differential, apply brakes when regenerative braking is limited, auto shift out of park, which uh, and all the newer ones have that and then auto lower, which is kind of a cool thing So the actual Tesla will lower itself down so you can get out of the vehicle if you have it higher set higher But um, I generally in this mode here have it set to custom Because I like I like the right height to be a little bit higher If you put it to sport or comfort it'll actually lower the, the right height I want to I want it the maximum right height that it'll allow me to be to be at So we have towing and handling so you have trailer mode and it gives you like trailer brake gain, uh, brake boost, and a bunch of other cool stuff here for the trailer. One of the cool things I like is the trailer light test. We'll have to test that out when I hook our trailer up to the Cybertruck. For charging, and this is one of the one of the disappointing things for me about the Cybertruck, and I'll create a video, like five things I dislike about the Cybertruck, is that the battery is only 318 miles or like fully charged. I was thinking 400, maybe 370. Um, I think the website was was saying 340 for the dual motor, 320 for the the tri motor. Not the case. 318 is what I got. I'm uh, happy. I'm happy with it. I'm definitely gonna get the range extender when it comes out. So inside here, unlock charge port, showing you your current amps, what you're charging at, and then you can schedule charging and all that stuff. Outlets and mods. Kind of a cool little thing here. So you have, the, you have actually the power feed tucked away in the front and you can turn that off and on right here. There's also the power feed that's actually gonna be where your, um, uh, right above your head here, above us where that the light bar would go, that'd be there. And then you have your outlets that are right basically in your console, front and back console. And then you have the ones away back here that you, have, you see on video with the 2110 and the 220 back here. So these two here, We'll probably never use it in the moment. Uh, when I get the light bar, that, that'll be connected. Um, I'm not sure what you would put up here. That'd be, that's actually be interesting to see uh, what accessories they make to, to make that happen. I would like a plug up there. That'd be kind of cool to get a, a, one, a 110, 120 plug up there. All right, moving on down the road here. Um, enable cabin outlets on entry. They consume more power. Um, keep on cabin and bed outlets and then cyber tent mode. So that's kind of a neat thing. If we had the cyber tent, we would use that. So go to autopilot. And this is another disappointing thing, which again, we'll make a video of it. There's no uh, autopilot or full self driving yet. I heard that 12.5 uh, when that comes out, updates, um, that'll enable um, FSD and autopilot on the Cybertruck. But right now we just basically have cruise control like every other vehicle that's not a Tesla. So all the good stuff here cruise follow distance you do you are allowed to do the traffic light and stop sign control um so it kind of shows you the stop signs and stuff like that but this here doesn't make any sense because 
it's uh, Autopod's not working. So hey, I, I haven't tested. Will the Cybertruck stop at a stoplight or a sign right now? I don't know if it will, but it shouldn't right now. Um, okay, speed limit sets, all the standard Autopilot stuff's down here. Let's go to Lux. Same thing, this is pretty much same as every other Tesla out there. Lock confirmation sound, lights. So lights, everything is basically same auto high beam highlights on after exit uh, this is kind of new bed light brightness so you can set that up I have it set to auto um, there's your accent lights which um, all the newer Teslas do have it now where you can kind of set the accent lighting whatever color you want you can kind of see that as I'm playing around you can see the color is falling around we'll set it to the dark side red there we go and then dome lights and footwell lights down below. All right, display is next. Appearance, all, it's all good, all same stuff. Cybertruck logo. So like when you get in and out of the Cybertruck, it'll actually have the Cybertruck logo coming across here. And uh, I don't know if we can simulate that. I'll see, I, I'm not sure how to simulate it, but um, you can turn that off if you want to. Everything else here is the same. as other Tesla's trips. Not really exciting inside of there. Navigation, nothing really exciting in there. Safety, sentry mode, dash cam stuff, all standard for other Tesla's. 911 calls like that. Service, so it looks like in service mode, the service mode area. Software, we're not gonna go in there because that's basically, um, Got my VIN in there, but let me pull away for a second. And I'll come back so you can kind of see it, the additional um, vehicle information. And maybe I'll get that IMEI off the grid. That's so you guys can't see it. <laughs> but uh, maybe my MAC address as well. But you can see that it's got uh, adaptive air suspension, premium audio system, autopilot, full self driving, heat pump, it's got the Ryzen, lithium ion, low voltage battery, induction for the front, permanent magnet for the back. And that's really about it. Um, there, there's no upgrades that shows in here. Uh, Bluetooth is kind of, Bluetooth and Wi Fi are kind of a new thing that's in this menu from version 12 update. So that's basically it for like the uh, functionality point of view to control the car, but there is more. So if you go inside of here, you kind of see all of your, your buttons here. And any of these buttons can actually move down below here. So if you just take the st steering wheel, hold it. I can drag it down here if I wanted to. Boom, there it is. Maybe we'll do a short on that. All right, so yeah, so here's all your icons that you can customize, and then you have like the rear, the rear screen. So what's on the back screen, you can control it up here and see what's going on. It's kind of neat. Um, your navigation, we've seen that. The cameras, cameras, kind of neat. So this is the first uh, Tesla to actually have the front camera, so you can see that there's the front, and then I think if you swipe up there, you go there's the rear. So if you click here, go back to front, and then go back to rear. It's kind of a neat little thing when I'm parking or driving now, where actually uh, I look at the front camera and see how close I get, you know, to here. It's kind of a neat thing. And what else we have here? The dash cam, energy. I'll, I'll kind of go through each one of these so you can kind of see what they look like. The dash cam, no matter what Tesla you have, does take a little bit to load up. That's the dash cam. It's an energy app. Phone app is nothing special. I gotta connect my phone, my my phone to it. 
calendar, messages, Zoom. You gotta connect that up. Yeah, you got And then we have theater. What do we have in theater? Same stuff, Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, Twitch, and TikTok. It would be neat if they would add Apple TV on here. I have a lot of movies in the Apple TV store or a library. It'd be cool to have that right here. Oh, I noticed Disney Plus is now off of here as well. So maybe here's the arcade. So we have Beach Buggy Racing 2, Vampire Survivors, Polytopia, Majan, Sudoku, Sky Force. Solitaire, Cat Quest, Fallout Shelter, Stardew Valley, Backgammon, Cuphead, Chess, and 2048. Obviously, I've skipped over the castle for the Doom Bat. But uh, I noticed that right now, this arcade is not available on the back screen for anybody to play. Let's look at the toy box. We have not done a light show yet, but I do plan on uh, recording a light show with just the Cybertruck by itself, but also with all our Teslas around it and them doing the same thing. So stay tuned to the channel for that. We'll have like a drone flying over top and then people recording the light show. Um, colorize is kind of neat. It would be neat. Um, and this actually allows you to change the color of your Tesla. So I think that'll do it right. Let's set it. Oh, you gotta move it to here. There you go. So you can see the Tesla kind of move, change colors. Oranges color, but uh, it would be really neat if they allow you to add like a, a, a custom color in here. We're getting our our Starbucks truck wrapped in um, it's a digital camo, similar to Tesla owners of Silicon Valley, and uh, but obviously it's not here anywhere. But it would be neat if they allow us to just kind of import that, so you can kind of see that and translate that. But I think that might be a little too complicated. You have the fart mode, the remissions mode. This is like a DJ thing. I don't never play with that. Romance mode. Sketchpad and Mars. What else do we have here? The browser now is full screen, but that's basically a version 12 thing. So if we go into here, just type in Tesla. And go. And now use the full screen up, which is really nice. It's nice and convenient. So we have Spotify, which is cool. Bluetooth tune in, and then radio streaming. All this is no normal stuff you guys have all seen on other Teslas. <clears throat> there is one extra thing here that I'm seeing. It's called off road. It'll prompt you. So off-road driving poses greater risk than on-road driving, of course. So this is giving you a warning, hit confirm. And now we are in um, off-road mode. If you look over here, this actually gives you like your tire pressures, your battery temperature, front motor temp, rear motor temp, and it kind of shows you your differentials here. So your axle and all that stuff like that, so. Vehicle will remain on and unlocks. Exit, off-road motor, store walkway lock. And then you have all this cool stuff over here, which I'm not an off-road guy, but I think we're going to try to do a little bit of off-roading. Kind of like, let's call it the bunny slopes of off-roading here, just to kind of demonstrate some like water stuff, like everybody, other cyber person has done. But you have like your pitch and your roll here, like your compass, and then you can go overland or Baja mode all-purpose rock, gravel, sand, and snow. And then you have roll mode, hold mode, we know that. They're locking differentials now, your ride height. You have extract mode, which is cool. Wade mode, which they'll pressurize the battery pack, and then rear steer, you can turn it off and on. Now, the, the thing about this mode, and, and anybody watching this video, you guys um, let me know in the comments, or you know whatever, message DM me. I don't know how to turn this off from here. I literally have to go back into controls. Like this should be like, turn this off somewhere. There's nothing here. So like literally if I start driving now, it's, you're in this mode. So I have to go back down to here and then 
if you go to dynamics, now we can, so we're off-road, we just go back to sport motor custom. And now you're, you're out of off-road mode. So I feel like when you're in uh, this mode, there should be somewhere where we can turn it off and it'll automatically switch back. But if you're here, there's no way to turn it off. You have to literally go back. I mean, it's only a couple of buttons away. A couple of pushes away, right? And now we're back. Alrighty, so let's look at the controls um, for the air conditioner and heater. And uh, a little bit different than I'm used to. I was, I was trying to find like, you know, how do I do dog mode and camp mode and all that stuff. And they actually put it up here. So you can, you have your scheduler down here. Here's your, your seat, it disappeared. So left, right seat, left seat, and then all the other stuff you have here. There's bioweapon defense mode. We can turn up the, look at the rear as well. The rear is kind of confusing, like how do I, there's nothing for the rear, right? If we click on that and click on rear, like what, what can I do? Oh, the seats, I think over here. Yeah, okay, gotcha. I think that's about it for V12 inside of the Cybertruck. We're, we're definitely, anxiously waiting for 12.5 so we get supercharging that's let me re say that again we'll cut that we're anxiously awaiting 12.5 so we can get full self-driving i'm just playing around here now so and there it is v12 in the cyber truck and uh, pretty awesome. And we'll see you guys in the next video.